Hello. So what I'd like to do today is to go ahead and show an alternate method for modifying your existing N64 cartridge tray so that you can play both US and Japanese based games on your existing N64. So this method would work for either a US or Japanese based console, it's just the, uh, the steps or bumps would be in a different spot. Now this is obviously a North American cartridge here because it has the two tabs or little bumps over here in the corners, those steps. That's what's preventing you from being able to play Japanese games on your US-based N64. So if you take a look at it here, here's a Japanese-based N64 cartridge, and of course if you try and put it in right now, it catches on those two steps there, and that's why it won't go in. On the other hand, if you see the US-based version here, it goes right in. So what you'll see here is that just like this, it's got the corresponding tabs on the Japanese one, so they'd be placed further in on a Japanese tray. But once again, it's the same method. So, so what I like to do, since I don't actually have a Dremel tool, which is a popular choice for people who uh, want to go ahead and do a do-it-yourself modification, is to go ahead and just use one of these guys. And I, this is my DeWalt handheld power drill there. Um, but honestly, any handheld power drill, even if you got a cheap one, should be able to do the job just fine. The good news is this plastic is pretty thick and uh, pretty sturdy, so you don't have to worry about cracking it. I've never had a problem with it when using this method before, but I figured that the power drill was a good method because a lot of people already have a, a little handheld cordless power drill in their home, uh, but they may or may not have a Dremel tool. So, uh, this is just a good alternative for a tool that you probably already have in the home so you don't have to make an additional purchase. So, a lot of people have gone to just going ahead and buying the 3D printed cartridge tray that's already region free with no uh, tabs, bumps, whatever you want to call it. And you can see here on the back, it doesn't have anything. Those will run you about seven to eight dollars from eBay. Um, or less if you buy them in bulk, but for people who have more time than money or don't want to wait to have to order something and wait for it to get there, um, they can just go ahead and use this method to modify their existing tray. Granted, it won't look the prettiest, it'll look a bit chewed up in these corners when it's done, but uh, I'll go ahead and just kinda do a little step-by-step -step progress here. So that took about three seconds to punch that hole in there, and you can see it's already poke through and uh, you know I just go at it from the different angles punching holes in there and then you just kind of tilt the drill side to side as you go and it helps chew up the edges um, the other thing that's really cool is if you take your drill on the side here you can also use it to the side of it there to smooth out some rough edges so it's not quite as jagged so I'll keep doing a little bit of a step-by-step -step progress here Okay, now this one did end up snapping a little bit of the back there. It shouldn't be a problem though. It's just, as I said, it's purely cosmetic. It's not going to matter if there's just a little bit of a hole there. So, anyway, on to the next step. Okay, so as you can see, that end is not exactly super pretty right now. I am going to blow it out with some canned air, which is a definite must if you're going to do this method because you're going to have a bunch of little plastic shards. I also recommend doing this like outside because um, yeah this thing's kind of messy <laughs> so or if you've got a workshop that's fine too so anyways as I said it's not gonna win any beauty contest but it is definitely functional so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the other side as well and uh, then we'll test it and make sure that uh, the Japanese cartridge can fit in it once it's done so that one also went right through but as I said you know not a big deal um, I'll go ahead and get the other two spots and then we'll do the final test. Okay, so there there's still a fairly rough edge on this one. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just kind of show you the method that I like to use to kind of smooth it using the side of the drill. If you look there, that smooths it out pretty good in that one corner where I was just drilling. I know it's kind of hard to tell with some of the stuff that's there, but it is a lot smoother than it was. So I'll just go ahead and finish it out real quick. I can do the same.
same method for the other side here. And I'll just finish out that little corner there. And then get some canned air, kind of blow everything out, and it should be good to go. So if I haven't mentioned it before, this method is messy, <laughs> so I just blew it all out with some canned air, and uh, as I said, it's not pretty, but let's see if the Japanese cartridge will fit inside it now, with no issues. And it does. You can see right there that it fits, fits in there, no problems, because they're gone now, the steps are gone. So. That should do it. And anyways, that's all I've got, and thanks for watching.